mention that in the group Boho Daydreams, we did this as a challenge, and I called it the Sweet Pastels instead of um, whatever it was she called it. What did she call it? Pretty in Petals. Um, so if you want to, check us out and check our events out. We do challenges usually every month, uh, unless it's just kind of a slow month for everybody and nobody's really into doing anything, but mostly we have monthly challenges and this was, this was one of them. So this has been really fun. All right. Where do I suppose my scissors are? I think I just saw them. Here they are. Okay. So this I'm just going to cut in half and... The way that we do that is we just measure so it's five inches and then I'm just gonna see if my pencil will pick up oh yeah two and a half two and a half then line up the ruler that one doesn't look right two and a half Okay. And just draw. I guess you could do that with a bone folder too. But I just take it down. And see there I have four pages. Ta-da! Just gonna go through and do that to all of them.
Okay guys, so I am back. We have done a little YouTube magic here and I went ahead and cut the rest of the cards. They're all dried. I did all of the letters that I was gonna do and I gessoed and dried them. And now what I'm doing is punching the holes for the rings. So what I did, started at one inch and went halfway in between the one and the four which was here and then I did halfway in between that and that's how I got where to punch my holes now you can put them wherever you want to uh, you can put them closer to the middle or whatever you want to do but that's just how I did mine and then to make up for my uh, just miraculous measuring to begin with when I started cutting these, I am just tapping the index cards on the table on the end that's going to stick out, and this is the whole end. And as you can see right here, it's even. But I'm going to punch holes right here and right here, so that's going to stay on the inside. So on the outside, it's going to be even. So if you will excuse if any bouncing happens here, I know this um, crocodile that I'm punching my holes with, it does make my table move a little bit. So, so I'm just gonna keep going here. Just doing one at a time. And then I'm just putting the last one that I measured with on the pile of the ones that I've already done. And so I've got them in order. I went through and I lined them up how I wanted them in order. And so I already know what I'm doing here. So everything will stay in order as long as I keep it that way. Yeah, I'll just keep going. After we do this, we're just going to put the put everything on the rings, and then we'll start embellishing the really fun part, unless the fun part to you is to make a mess, and in which case, this is for you for sure. So I tried to do it to where there were no two colors are the same, so you get some variety. And you put your little journal together. This is a little bit of a longer process than I thought this whole thing was going to be originally. I thought I was going to be done in like 30 minutes, but clearly I am not done in 30 minutes. So we're almost done with this part. Okay, so here's my rings, and this part is really easy. I've got everything stacked up here, and they go in fairly easy. Just keep whittling through. Oh, I got out of line. And there's one. Oh, I really messed up there, didn't I? Let's see. That works. These aren't the most pliable rings that I've ever worked with, but they're they're still a good ring. You can even get different colors of rings on Amazon. I just wanted the silver. I wish they would have had gold, but I didn't see gold. I think gold would be pretty. So 
here is our little dude. Look at that. And on the front, I used that page that I put the gold on. I thought that turned out really pretty. And so here we are. So cute. Here's the other one. Look how cute they are. I mean, you could leave it like that and it would be just delightful. But that wasn't the instructions. So we're going to go ahead and embellish this somewhat. I'll just use my arm again. Just get some stuff. I don't need that. I do need some gold. Little gold bits. I think one thing I forgot is the ribbon to tie on. It's just sorry ribbon. So I'll need to get that when we're done. I think that's all the blue. Here are the napkins that I used on the other one. It's the uh, it's got bird and flowers on it, and then this one here just as flowers. I used a lot of that, so but there's still a lot to be able to use there, so I'll keep that for another project. And let's see what we want to do here. Oh, that looks beautiful, doesn't it, right there? So on this, you don't want to be super precise. It's just kind of like the whole journal is not super precise. Okay, this is not going to cut. I'm going to have to cut it, which I didn't want to do. That's okay. Might need a little bit longer just in case. I think this color blends so beautifully with that. Just cut it down because I don't want a lot of that fabric on there. Just want just a little bit right there. And I've got my fabric tack here, which is really good for fabric. Hopefully the glue will come out. I want I want it to. Let me get that out of the way. And we're just going to Put some of that right there. Now, what I'm also going to do is take my finger and run over that so that it doesn't show through on this fabric like it would if we didn't do that. See how that's nice and you don't see any of that glue coming through. And then I thought I would put some gold here. Not sure if that's the one I want. I think, it, I think so. Let me try. This have, it's been a bigger piece and I've just been deconstructing it as I've been going. Taking little bits off as I need it. What I thought I might would be some of this. I'm sure I can straighten that out. So I wonder... If I need something else there. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. I hope I have some more of this. Look at that. That'll be really pretty right here. Oh, yes. I'm loving this already. Okay. Okay. Sidetracked. Um, let's see what else we got. Hmm. That'd be pretty. Just love this fabric. I just need a little bit. Right there. I'm going to do the same thing with this fabric tag. So that it doesn't show through. You know what now it makes me want to do <laughs> makes me want to do the whole journal in this blue color because look how gorgeous that is. That teal is really popping against that blue. I love that. Okay. Oh. Alright. I didn't grab a whole lot of stuff, did I? And I don't want something on every page, honestly.
I think that would be pretty. Like a little, this is antique. It's got some staining on it, but I just love it. I'm going to find a good section right here, I think. Maybe up here. I if that could tear. Oh, yes. Love torn fabric. That would be really pretty up there. On that wallpaper that I've got some gesso on is gorgeous. Let's see if I have any more of that gold fabric. It was just a little bit of a scrap. I don't think I do. Maybe this. Again. Oh, yes, it's so pretty. Yep, I think. I just really think blue is my favorite. Okay. I'm just going to keep going. See how those letters turned out so nice? I really like them. Like we can do some teal here. Oh, that would be pretty. Keep all these little bits up here so I can use them as I go. That is so cute. This whole piece right here. Yeah, this stuff doesn't like to tear very good. I kind of have to play with it to get it a rough edge. I think that'll be pretty right there. Put that one little dot right there. Let that be. Now look what we got. Pretty, very pretty. Okay. See, it doesn't take much embellishing on here at all. We're going for a totally different look in this journal than the, the sweet little embroidery look over here. Some of the chenille will be pretty on there. Yep, 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 yep. That's pretty. This is my favorite part of doing these little journals. I think I like that. I don't know. I feel like this is such a no stress journal. It's just fun. You really can't mess it up, as you can see with my measuring. This is where we start getting a little wide mouthed if I add some of these little jewels. I really think that needs something. Just a little something. Like right in the middle of that. Pretty. Very pretty. Okay. There's that other page. I should have put that on the back, but I could always change it. Love that. Love how that turned out. Okay, then what about here? I feel like maybe, I wonder if I had some dark blue. Hold on just a minute. I'm going to go see. Yes, 
that's dark. That'd be good. That might work. That's pretty. sure about that. We'll take it out just in case. So there's a few more options. I have my heater on. I'm sure you're hearing that little noise. It just got so cold. I love this piece. Oh, it's so gorgeous. But I feel like this is our piece right here. It's this little bitty piece. Maybe up there. Is that it? Or is that it? Yep, not that. That's throwing it off somehow. I think the fact that it's sheer is the problem, so I might put this behind there. This might come in handy after all. I don't know. I'm not digging that at all. I'm actually liking this better than that. And then what would I do? Do that. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Here we go with something. Okay, I like those two. And then I'll just have to figure out something to put on top there. Let's see what this looks like. One of these little doolollies. That would be cute. I like that. Very, very cute. Okay. Do that. All the strings. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think. What did I want to save this for? This page. That's as aqua as we get. Yep. That would be pretty, wouldn't it? <clears throat> oh yeah, loving that. Ooh, that tear is nice. I like it. A little big. Let's see if I want just one. If I want two. I want that to hang out. That's a little far. I think I like the top. We're just going to go for it. We're going to put it at the top corner. Get that glue off of there. Glops. That fabric tag likes to glop. At least it's better than bubbling over, which it hasn't done yet. So I'm just thinking my look at stars on that one. Okay. Hmm. Huh. I'm always trying to get the dang glue off my finger. <laughs> I like this there. I don't 
like it down there. I think it picks up the color better up here. Yep, I think I'm just going to let that kind of um, hang there from the top. I'm going to let a little bit of it hang on the top, hang out of the top. I like that purple too, that one turned out pretty. Pink. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's do some more of this. I really like this. Such a gorgeous color. Very rich jewel tone. I like it a lot. I keep going to the top. Seems like I have holes at the top though, so. And then what? Let's see. Ooh, I wonder what that would look like. In the middle, across the top. Yeah, I thought I would really like that. I don't. Um, what is this? I feel like that is so plain it needs something to accompany it. Yeah. That's not it. Yeah, I think it's that. Very plain and beautiful. I felt like I had more time. I might would cut around some of that, but... Where do we need something? So, uh, I think I need something in the middle right there. Okay. That's really pretty. I like this raggedy edge hanging out from there. I got tired when I came back, can you tell? <laughs> oh, that flower's pretty. I'm getting both of those layers to stay. And that's pretty, and look, I went to the top again. Because <laughs> I didn't want to cover up that rose, but it came down some. So... I might have to go back in here and do something down there. That might be a good place to do. This. I love that purple. I need to do some something on some purple. But for now, I think These little tiny sequins are so pretty on here, but you cut them out and they're like nothing. They just don't show up well. Okay, let's do that. white when it's such thin material. Let's get some out that way. Ooh, that'll be pretty hanging out. 
Let's see. Mm -hmm. This is more of a scrappy little doodah. Huh. Very different this time. I think I'm going to stay down here some more. I'm going to skip that and go here. Teal and purple. Green and purple. Ooh, what about the chenille? Nope, not showing up at all. This. Oh, that's pretty. I like that a lot. That's a good mixture. That kind of is uneven there, see? So that makes a difference. Oh gosh, look at all those little strings. I really like that. I like the color, but I don't like the design because that is so pretty. I think I'm going to feel like I want to do, I want to make a bow. Oh my gosh, this can go on the rings. I just realized that. Okay. So let's see if I can make a bow. know why I want to make a bow, but I do. Oh, it's like that is all crunched up in there. Come on, open up. Well, I like it that way for sure. Yep, I think I'm going to do that. And then I'll put a little sparkle in there. It's so cute. Get me a sparkle. Just a little sparkle. Shot all the way across the desk. Oh gosh, that's a lot of glue. Do I have my tweezers? No, yes. These tweezers are such a good tool to have. Even if you use just regular tweezers. But these are cool because they're needle nose. Ta da! We love that. Look how cute. Okay, let's keep going. I've got another purple. Let's do this. I want to do this here. Love this chenille. Love, 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 love. If you guys know what movie that's from, put it down in the comments. Love, 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 love. Love, 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 love. Something like that. <laughs> we'll just see who all hung with me this whole time. Love, 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 love. Do I want to put something on there? That kind of ruins it, doesn't it? Let us see. Oh, look how pretty these are together. That might just be all she wrote on that page. And then on a, let's do on a pink. Oop, we're sticking together. I'm just gonna put a little fabric check on there. I think that happened when I cut it. I love the wallpaper. That's definitely a good, um, a good little, oh yeah, I'm gonna do this one. A good little piece to put on there. I did one of these little birds. I don't really like him too good, but eh, he's okay. He'll have to survive.
I just love this color. That's what it looks like halfway cut do there. Yeah, that's not tearing. Oop. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that. It's very, um, very airy. This is not how I thought these fabrics were going to turn out at all, but I'm liking it. The glare. The struggle is real. Looks like I need to put something on here because I keep sticking. So let's see what we got. Oh, now that definitely goes there, doesn't it? And we definitely need something in the middle. Wonder. Oh, I like it. All right, let's see what happens. I don't want those pieces sticking out because they're fuzzy. They're so fuzzy. And let's do that one on top for a layer. And nope. Uh -huh. Something. Yep, that. Just that little thread in there gives this just a little tiny special effect to it, I think. Hold that down. I could probably put a lot more of fabric in here because this one, and I probably do need some. I need to get some consistency, especially through here. I'm missing something. Maybe I'll go here. I didn't use this much. Let's try that. Let's see what we can get out of here. That's really pretty, but how am I gonna? We'll just hang that off the side. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. pretty. I love that. I just love gold. A pop of gold anywhere just makes me so happy. We got some gold. Look, it make me so happy. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> I'm tired, y'all. It's like, I don't know, it's probably 11 o'clock at night now. <laughs> gold, gold. I still think I need more. Let's go here. This I think needs to be a recurring just a recurring theme. I should have torn that. Why didn't I tear it? Here's some. Here's some torn. Yes, 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 yes. Almost. Beautiful. I don't think I've ever had to think less about putting something somewhere. <laughs> as far as embellishments go. Now we're getting somewhere. something here. It's really pretty. Did I have some more of that? Where did it go? 
stuff just disappears on my desk. It doesn't look good. This does. What color do I need? can't get over that color right there. I just love it. It goes with everything. I try not to use it on everything. I want just that. Is that even going to look good? It will. I think it will. Let me go right here. Will this tear? Yes. Ooh, fabulous. That was a nice tear. something else though but I do like those colors together so I'm gonna go ahead and stick that down I think that page is so pretty I'm telling you the wallpaper just makes it this one looks upside down it's okay <laughs> and maybe some of this on top I get it to tear some more well, that didn't work, did it? Nope. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Oh. Okay. And then some gold. Hmm. I think I like the bigger piece. But I do think I wouldn't mind it being a little more narrow. And then stick it outside over there. Yep, pretty pretty. keep going back to this. It's just so pretty. I have this. This is very modern looking, but it's so sparkly. Maybe I'll do that. I'll do three of those. Look, there's a glob on there already. What the heck is up with that? Oh, that is cute. Okay, I like that. Alright, now let's see how we look. That's pretty good. Okay, what is really going to make this pop is this. So, where are my scissors? Get some of this rolling. I guess when I tore this a while ago, I know I did. What is going on? Where's the torn part? <laughs> I know I tore this. Let me start here. That's so weird. There we go. Okay. There's one piece. But that's a little long. But I feel like it's too short to cut in half. I'll just do that. Let's see if this will tear. Yummy. 
do it up here. This one on top over here this time. Good. And what else do we have? Hey, let's try some of this. Nice. Nice tear. Okay. Let's get that on the back. Then we kind of have all three colors going here. Or the blue, and I think I am going to cut some of this off. Oops. Oh my goodness. This still taffeta or something. I don't know what this is, but sure is stringy. All right, and these are gonna go into my little scrappy dappy doos for later use. And let's clean up our little mess here. And we'll see what we got. Maybe I should put some of this on the front because, oh yes, 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 okay, yeah. That will just bring it all around. Yep. Sweet. That wasn't sweet, but <laughs> this is. Okay. So here we go guys, here is our little sweet pastel journal in pink and blue. I renamed it, not pretty and petals, because we didn't do the petals. So I hope you stuck with me, I hope I didn't bore you to tears, and that you found something that you like here with these journals, and I'd love to see it if you give these a try. We'll just do a quick little flip through here. Of the finished product. I mean, you know, I could technically put a little piece of fabric on every page, but I don't think it makes it as special as when you find a piece with the fabric on it at that point. Look, I did four in a row there. <laughs> I love the bow, it's so sweet. love that page. Almost looks like a sunrise. And the last page. And there we have it. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I hope you um, like these two journals and I hope you'll let me know if you try it. hope you'll come and join the group Boho Daydreams and see what we did in our challenge. Uh, we have some people that made these also as well as myself. Here's the instructions and the supply list for you. We covered our car with gessos, we painted, we put the papers on, the napkins, I added some wallpaper, gessoed again, cut them in half, punched the holes, placed the rings in the holes, and tied ribbons on the rings and embellished. So thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye!